All right, folks. I know it's been a couple of days since the uh, the last time that I was able to put a video out for the restoration stuff, but whew, I've been working really hard, and this is the result. So we got our uh, living room furniture from Johnny B. Thanks a lot, Bubba. I really appreciate just being able to sit and and have some mac and cheese. Uh, we also got our new washer and dryer. They are amazing. They work great. And we actually got some kitchen furniture, which I'm cleaning right now, just because uh, the people we got it from, they've got some pretty excitable dogs. And uh, they the people that gave it to me were embarrassed about the dog hair. But So I'm telling them I'm cleaning it. It's not a problem because I got a new washer and dryer. So, uh, when I was moving this couch earlier, I noticed something. That wall got really flexible, and I almost put my hand through it. So, yeah. I, I remember saying that I might be able to save that. Well, saving that is all well and good, but it's all for naught if I have to replace the rest of the wall. So, um that was one of the first walls that we did when right after the fire. Um, I'm not super attached to it. Uh, none of the Marvel stuff came out right anyway. So I'm going to tear that wall down. I'm going to put a new one in. And I'm going to do it properly. Uh, somehow, someway, they lost my order for my um, ducting. So, yay. I don't know if I'm going to have to pay again. i got to go up there with my receipt and all that stuff, but I don't know. So, Moving on. Uh, haven't done much in the kitchen. You can tell it's a mess just because we were uh, working upstairs and I needed, I needed surfaces like uh, cutting wood, but you'll see that in a moment. Um, mudding. Mudding. Mudding, this corner up here is actually getting really close to closing up. Uh, more mudding, some mudding up here. Uh, I think I figured out what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to notch this 2x4 up here. I'm going to cut this 2x4 because it's not structural or anything. It's actually tied on to the other 2x4 back here over here. So I think I'm... I think I've figured it out. I just, I hate that I had to remove that. But, uh, we finally got the outside corner trowel. So look at that. That's nice and smooth all the way up. So I'm going to sand this down tomorrow, put some tape on it, and we'll have our first completely finished outside corner. Moving on. Finally was able to afford a little more mud. So it's not the same stuff as that, but... You can see it's working the same. So I'm going to have to sand that down tomorrow. Put that other chunk in that was on the stairs. And uh, threw some initial mud on that too. It actually looks really good. So I'm impressed. I'm happy with it. Uh, go up the stairs a couple of feet. Actually, I'll just go up to the top. Turn around, and you can see that all of this got mudded, and that got a little extra mud in it. Um, I also used the uh, outside angle uh, trowel to put that put that mud in, and uh, all of this has been taped as well. So we're but we're not done. But wait, there's more. So, we put some basic shelving in. Um, we actually, these shelves were actually in this closet during the fire. I don't think they look too terrible. They need to be cleaned up, as you can tell. But we needed shelving because everything was winding up on the floor. So, I'm going to do my nightly cleanup and um, that patch is getting done tomorrow as is that patch and then there's a lot of mudding and sanding 
coming. So cross your fingers for us. It is, it is looking good. It's just it's taken so long. We can't, you know, we can't dedicate ourselves to this when we're trying to pay bills. So anyway, that's the video. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.